What a hot day it is here in Tokyo, Japan. If you've ever experienced the humidity in Japan, you will know that it is absolutely crazy. It might not be like Florida level crazy of hot here, but it's pretty freaking hot. Anyways, humidity is just sticky, sweaty, smelly, stinky, moldy, everything. All, all the bad things about life just rolled up into like just one emotion is what i'm feeling right now but so i've already given the introduction by doing the basic stuff that nobody really cares to see which is uh just coca-cola classic and uh what was the other one coca-cola zero but this time look at this i got coca-cola lemon and vitamin c now this one says here on the bottle that this has the strength of 20 lemons worth of vitamin C inside of this one bottle. That sounds almost like a deadly concoction. I mean, <laughs> what do you need with 20 lemons worth of energy out of one bottle? I mean, what could I do with this? I think a lot of this stuff is just going to go straight down the toilet. But I'm talking about the so-called vitamin nutrients or whatever. But it is what it is. It comes inside of a typical 500 milliliter bottle. And uh, I recall seeing this one for the first time in 2019. And I did buy this at the tail end of 2019. It's just, I never drank it. It's just been sitting inside of my refrigerator until now. I've been saving it just for this moment. But this was released a year prior. The exact same thing, lemon and vitamin C. And the bottle had a little bit of a different look to it. It had like a, not a gradient, but it had like these little yellow circles that was kind of gradiating down into the red. And this little symbol here that says uh, 20 lemons worth of vitamin C, this little round symbol used to be black. So they changed the design of the bottle to make it look a little bit sleeker and more appealing. I just bought this one out of a convenience store uh, right near my job. Uh, out of a 7-Eleven here in Japan. I've already pre-tasted this, but I lost those review notes that I've had of this. But come on, this is not like tasting a whiskey. It's just doing a, an easy, simple soda review. So I believe I can do this on camera quite easily without missing out on anything. All right. A little bit of the carbonation has gone away as this is not just spewing out of here. I mean, I had the bottle for so long, but all right, here we go. Let me make sure I'm recording this audio. I don't want to miss out on this. All right. I'm going to have to get a whole lot of sips of this to, to really to tell what's going on inside of here. Because as it stands right now, it's just tasting like Coca-Cola to me. I keep forgetting that I'm not tasting whiskey. I'm not doing a whiskey taste test. So there's no real aftertaste to things like this. It's just a quick one and done sort of hit. The moment you swallow it, the taste is just gone. Can I taste the lemon in there? Slightly. Not really. I would say if I was drinking this, maybe at the time that I had bought it, maybe about half a year ago, which was like seven months ago, maybe it tasted different from this. I can't recall, but maybe it tasted the same. But it's lighter than a normal Coca-Cola, but just a little bit heavier than a coca-cola zero so it's it's somewhere in between and those lemons
Yeah, it's just... That's just gone. That's my last sip. Too far gone. So, in the case of Coca-Cola, lemon, and vitamin, this one is nothing special, nothing to write home about. Go ahead and finish this off off camera. But anyways, I thank you guys for watching this video. I got so many more Cokes left inside the fridge that I got to get into. We're going to go ahead and get these things done. Knocked out and out of the way. But anyways, salute to you ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be out in the world. And I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.